What are you wearing? <laughs> it's Christmas. Oh my goodness. I This year went by fast. Yeah. We don't have a 2021 Craftsman shirt yet. Yeah, that's why I'm wearing this. Maybe we should make one. I guess we could update our old one. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, let's go. So we have last year's shirt right here. And the label. Done. Aren't these some cool shirts? Uh, I think we can do better. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty lame. Let's get to the real project. Yeah, let's go. shirts off of Amazon. And let's come up with a nice new fresh design. Let's get to designing. So we're in Inkscape and we're going to open from a new template. So we're going to go to the circle tool to make a head for the gingerbread we're going to be making. So then we're going to go and give it a fill by just pressing the color we want and then do shift X to get rid of the stroke or outline. Then we're going to go to our Bezier tool and give the gingerbread man a body. This is just going to be rough because we're going to later fix it with our Bezier tool. So now let's refine this with our node tool. So now we're going back to the Bezier tool to make the little broken leg part. So now we're just going to give all the pieces a fill by just pressing the desired color and then press shift X to get rid of the outline. So we're going to select the body and the head, not the little broken leg, and then go to path, union. So now we're going back to our bezier tool and we're going to add some frosting to the arms and then the legs. So we're going to our note tool to make it look a little bit more swirly. So now to bring up our layer tab, we're gonna go to layer and then layers. And then we're going to make a new layer called Decorations. This is where we'll put the face and then the frosting. We're going to select all of our little frosting bits. And then right click, move to layer, Decorations. So now we're going to go to Object and then bring up our Fill and Stroke tab. We're going to go to Stroke Style and adjust the size. We're going to go to our Circle Tool and then make a mouth for our gingerbread man. We're going to hold down Shift and press Paint. We're going to go to Path, Object to Path. Now we'll go to our Node Tool and adjust the mouth to make it look like it's smiling. We're going back to our circle tool to add some eyes. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. 
Now we'll copy it and paste it. Command C and Command V. Now we're going to give it some eyebrows with our Bezier tool. We're going to our node tool and we're going to adjust it a little bit. We're going to copy and paste it. And then we're going to go to object. We're going to flip it vertical. Horizontal and vertical. We're going to paste the eyes, but this time it will act as buttons. We'll just change the color. So now we're going to select everything we just made, right click, move to layer. Decorations. Move. Now we're going to make a new layer. We're going to name it Applique. Another one named Satin Stitch. Since this isn't going to be fill and we're doing applique, we're going to select everything and then we're going to um, get rid of the fill by pressing the X and then we're going to do shift and select the color we want and that will just give us a stroke. So now we'll go to fill and stroke, stroke styles, and then we're going to change the type of stitch to a dashed line to give us a nice straight stitch and then change the size. So now we're going to duplicate this doing Command D, and then we're going to right click, move to layer, and then do our satin stitch. Then we're going to go to our layers tab and make sure it actually moved. Now we're going back to our fill and stroke tab to adjust um, the size and the type of stroke. So now on this layer one, we still have our applique um, stitching, so we're going to move that to the layer we want. So now we're going to our lettering tool to add some text. We're going to apply and quit and rearrange our O snap text. So our plan for this is we're going to stitch out a nice straight stitch locking down the fabric to the stabilizer and then all the excess fabric will just cut away. Then we're going to add a satin stitch to cover up the edges of the fabric. Then we'll stitch out all the decorations, that being the frosting buttons, eyes, mouth, Lastly, we'll add our text.
So we're selecting all of our design. We're gonna save our design by going to File, Save As, rename it. And we're saving this as a zip file. It will be PES and SVG. So after testing this design, we realized this um, lettering GUI text wouldn't work. So we're just going to use our fill text. We're just going to type it out. So now once we have it typed out and changed the size, we're going to go to path, object to path. So we're just going to rearrange our text now. So we're going to select all of our text because we're going to move it to a different layer. We're going to right click, move to layer, and add it to our decorations layer. So besides our shirt and our five by seven hoop, what are we using? We're using some tearaway stabilizer, which we got pre-cut and it doesn't quite fit our five by seven hoop, but we can grip it by the edges and it works fine. And then we've got some uh, felt like fabric that we're gonna use as our applique piece for the gingerbread man. And then when we're done embroidering, we're gonna use this uh, sulky tender touch backing, which will kind of make the shirt a more comfortable wearing because it kind of covers up the scratchy embroidery back. And... Yeah, definitely. Okay. So let's get embroidering. Let's go. Thanks. I think that's going to turn out okay. Let's go get the satin stitch on it. Thank you. 
So I think this shirt turned out really good. It has a nice back and it doesn't have a big piece of paper saying 2021 on it. So that's a plus. And I really like the design and the little gingerbread saying, oh snap. Yeah, so you did a good job designing that. Thank you. How about you go model it for us? Sure. help? Yeah, I like putting on that iron-on silky uh, underneath my embroidery, especially on shirts, just because it feels a little bit nicer against the skin than regular embroidery does. Definitely. Make sure to stay tuned for our upcoming Craftmas episodes. We'll do a bunch of cool little holiday crafts. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye. You get reminded every single time. Ugh. Anyway. Why am I doing so bad? Sorry, I kept messing up my speech. Whoa.